Now that you've solved the white cross, our goal is to solve the white corner pieces. So let's get to it. Remember, those are the pieces located on the corners, and they have three colors. Holding your cube with the white cross on the top U-face, we have to locate the corner pieces with white on them. The tip on this stage is that the corner pieces will have one white color plus two other colors. This makes sense because since we're trying to solve the white side of the cube, the corner piece has to have white on it. The other tip is to first look at the corner pieces on the bottom D face of the cube to find one that has white on it. If there is already a corner piece with white on the bottom D face, then simply rotate the bottom D face until that corner piece is directly below its intended top U face corner position. How do we know if it's in the correct intended position? We know it's correct if the two other colors on the corner piece are the same color of the center pieces on both sides of that corner piece. Exactly. The position of our corner pieces can end up in one of four ways as shown by the illustrations in the solution guide. As long as it has the three colors we need, how it's situated doesn't matter because it will work itself out with the following moves. All you have to do is the move sequence RI, DI, R, D. Keeping in mind, you may have to do this sequence one, two, or three times, or until the corner piece is in the correct top U-face position. And there it is. Now we have to take the same approach for all four corners. Repeat this process until each corner piece is in the correct position on the top U-face. Now, if there is a corner piece on the top U-face in the wrong corner position, then move it to the bottom D-face. Make sure you're holding your cube with that top center corner piece on the right side facing you before you do the sequence. R-I, D-I, R. Once on the bottom D-face, rotate the bottom D-face until that corner piece is directly below its intended top U-face position. Once it's there, we do the sequence R-I, D-I, R, D, until it is in the correct position on the top U-face location. This part is a good exercise because you really begin to see how the cube works and the patterns of the moves. I like it when it happens on the first sequence. That's when it's even more fun. <laughs> That's true, especially if you're in a race with your friends. <laughs> Okay, did you guys do it? Yeah. Right, nice job. Yeah. Oh, congratulations. And congratulations to you also. If your white layer looks like this, you can move to stage four. If you don't have the white layer, make sure you go through your steps slowly and completely, paying close attention. You want to make sure you understood everything and you held your cube correctly. Another common mistake is turning one of the faces in the wrong direction. So pay close attention to those arrows. Have patience. Don't give up because you can do the cube.